It's Friday, fool, and you need this tool. Welcome back to another glorious episode of It's Friday Fool, You Need This Tool. My name is Kyle Voss and on Fridays, sometimes, I bring you a tool. A tool that I use here in this shop or that I have featured on this channel. All right, I know it's been a minute, but I got a good one, so I figured I'd bring it to you. Today we're talking Deutsch connectors. Deutsch, 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 Dutch, Deutsch. Deutsch connectors. We're talking Deutsch connectors. Really the premium type of connector used in automotive wiring these days. Now there's now we'll say there's several different levels. Let's put it that way, levels. But this is definitely ranks towards the top. So I'm gonna show you how to do it, the tools you need, and maybe like one of these kits that has everything you need in it. Alright, so now what's kind of brought me to doing this episode is we're working on a 1949 Chevy truck in the shop, rewiring the entire thing. Basically went painless wiring kit. We didn't want to use standard connections. Even though a lot of the ones I've used, I've had them on the channel before, are the higher end standard crimp connections, right? I like the ones that have heat shrink on them, that have glue in them, so when you heat shrink it, it actually glues itself with the wire. That's probably the premium kind of connection to do on a lower level like when you want to step it up one more level and really make some nice stuff this is what you go to right here Deutsch connector let me, uh, let me explain what a Deutsch connector is if you don't know so it's one of those connectors I'm sure you've seen them before they look like uh, if I can get them out of here basically look like that and so this would be the male, this would be the female. This is kind of what pretty much comes standard on a lot of your, you know, MSD style ignition systems. Uh, you know, a lot of your professional stuff comes factory with these kind of connections. These are watertight. They're not going to come loose. They're really, really good connections. Uh, you can undo them if you want, or, you know, if you need to switch them up, repin them. They're easy to kind of take apart. But uh, while you're using it, there's no fear of it actually coming undone. Now they come in multiple pins. So like this one is like a 12 pin. So it's a 12 pin connection. You got a female and a male. You can get them 12, six, four, three, two. You can get anything you want. So like here's a three pin. It's more of a triangle shape. You can get whatever you need. You can even get them really big gauges. So we bought a couple extra large gauge, gauge two pin connectors for some stuff we're gonna do that gonna, you know, they really need to carry some current through them. Got a couple extra of those. Now why, why are these better? Let's talk about that. So one thing is, is it is technically a crimped connection, but it's not a crimped connection like where you have two points of crimping. You know, like a standard crimper, when you're crimping that wire, it's just kind of squeezing it in two places. These actually use a special tool like this and it crimps it from multiple sides at once. So this one actually has four pins in here and you can't really see it. But when I squeeze this, instead of it just being a two, two point crimp, it's actually like a four point crimp that comes in from, you know, every 90 degrees it comes in and kind of crimps that. And then the pins themselves, if I can find one. The pins themselves, so we got a whole bag of them here, are little round, and I hope you can see that. I'm gonna try to zoom in. A little round, little round piece. Not like your standard, you know, solder. This piece is actually solid, so it doesn't have a slit in it like most of your crimp connections do. And so when you crimp that thing from all four sides, it's it's on there, it's not coming off. Other than that, it's pretty easy. You basically stick the wire in those, you crimp it down, you slide it in the back of these things. It has a piece in there that kind of makes it stick, kind of like a barb or a detent. Once you slide it in there, it kind of 
sticks in there. On the back side of these, you can see that they are, it seals the wire, so they're waterproof. And then, you know, if you got the female side, the male side itself has a gasket on it right here. So when you slide that in there, it seals it from this side as well, which is makes it waterproof on the connection. The wires are waterproof because of the gasket on either end, and then the connection itself is waterproof because of that gasket. So let's talk about maybe the downfalls to a kit like this. The main downfall, really only one downfall, is that they're pricey. They're a little expensive. The tool itself is pretty expensive. Uh, just to be able to do these. The good thing about that though is you buy the tool once, you have it forever. This tool is cool. It has actually a depth gauge so you can kind of dial in the depth of the crimp. And uh, you can also change the size. So depending on what kind of wire gauge you're using, you change the size of it. It's automatically dialed in, ready to go. I don't know if you can see, but you change the size right here on the side. So you don't have to necessarily replace anything. You just dial it in here whatever gauge you're using, 20 gauge, 22 gauge, 24, 16, 14, 12, whatever you want. Dial it in here, and then when you crimp that wire, she's not coming loose. So like I said, really the only downfall would be the expense. It is a pretty hefty initial expense for the crimpers. There's several brands. This is from Iwis. Uh, there's several brands that make these kind of crimpers you can get. I'll drop you some links into the description. You can go check all this stuff out. I'll give you the kits. For the Deutsch connectors, I'll give you the tools you need to do it, and you can go, you can go basically look for yourself and figure out whether it's justifiable to go this route. Now I will say this, you know, you have something like this on your setup, it definitely uh, brings you up another level. You want an ultra clean engine bay, done right, never have to worry about electrical stuff, gremlins and issues with stuff coming loose or breaking wires or whatever. You go this route, that's what all the pros do, and you won't have to worry about it. Well, there you go, this week's video. The Deutsch connector and tools. This particular tools, IWIS, but there's a bunch. Anyway, as always, thank you for joining me. I'll see you guys some more this week. It's Friday, fool.